The kidnapping of 300 schoolgirls in Nigeria from their village last month has left the world heartbroken and horrified. The culprits, an Islamic extremist group called Boko Haram. Boko Haram is just one of several very potent organizations, terrorist organizations in North Africa, in Africa that are destabilizing the continent. So why are groups like Boko Haram emerging? And what can the world do to fight them? Some Muslims are speaking out against them. Anything to do with killing people is not Islam. Human trafficking is a big piece of this. Dr. Louise Shelley has written extensively about terrorism, human trafficking, and international crime. She says many violent groups are born out of corruption in their own countries. But she believes once the oppressed revolt, they can become as ruthless as their oppressors. They have super equipment that they've obtained from Libya, where it's come from North Africa to Nigeria. Dr. Shelley says Boko Haram is a distortion of Islam, intent on denying women an education. It's feared many of the girls will be sold into the sex trade. Shelley says many terrorist groups are run like businesses, kidnapping, human trafficking, drugs, animal parts, even used cars, all fund their cause. Shelley believes if you stop the flow of money, many groups will die. And understand how they generate funds and how you need to cut off their funds and put them out of business. Experts say key in the fight against terrorism is recognizing all of the young people across the globe living in poverty and depression and the world's responsibility to try and provide them with a future that doesn't involve crime. Dr. Shelley, do you believe that these Nigerian families will get their daughters, their sisters, their loved ones back? I don't think they're going to get many of them back. It's, it's really tragic. Kai Jackson reporting.